can see two towers of uh, the basilica in a couple of seconds and the, the basilica is all part of the palace belonging to um, a princely family that live here the princess of Leiningen, very very wealthy family they own vast areas of the forest that we've been driving through today and they make a lot of money out of the lumber industry and there is a connection with the princes of Leiningen and the British royal family going back to the early 19th century when the then Duke of Kent came over to get married to one of the princesses of Leiningen. They lived in the palace there on the left hand side but not for a very very long time in early may of 1819 they had to start making a mad dash for england because the princess was expecting a baby and if the baby wanted one day to be eligible for the throne it would have, would have had to have been born on british soil traveling long and arduous they even had the boat she was sailing in that de they designated that british territory just in case she had the baby early but she managed to hang on and uh, they got into into London into Kensington Palace and a few days later a baby princess was born who would one day become Queen Victoria oh. and you've all heard of her yes she was of course I wasn't there but so um, take off for it yes and in fact, um, the present Queen's husband would often come here during the hunting season, what's in that, Prince Philip. And of course, European royalty all related in one way or another. And Queen Victoria, she was the grandmother of the last German Kaiser, the last German Emperor, William II, nicknamed Kaiser Bill. He was the, way, the one who caused all the problems by his very bad decision-making during the... And just before Armistice Day in November of 1918, he was forced to abdicate. of minutes we'll be passing the yellow sign for Miltonburg.
missed it. Uh, now all we have to do is find the ED. I think the river's down there somewhere. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Drive along the roads parallel to the promenade. Milton boat also very pretty. The old town, yeah. on the right this is the Mike's Tower facing the direction of Mike's that uh, that's the city on the confluence where you change rivers from the River Rhine onto the River what are on now the River Main or Mine at the other end of town it's the Würzburg Tower identical facing the direction where your ship will be docked tomorrow So this town was also ruled over by the Archbishop of Mainz. He was the one, remember this morning where you were docked that beautiful red building, that was his summer residence. And uh, Archbishop of Mainz was also one of those prince electors for the Mainz area. It's very pretty along here, along the embankment. This is the flood retention wall that you see here. This, yeah. was extended till to the end of town finished it last year it's very lovely all the flowers here and uh, in a minute we'll see the bridge and then we should be able to see it if we look and the arches first one we'll see that's one of the local pleasure cruisers and then we'll see the ed i hope <laughs> Don't be flippant, Monica. <laughs> there it is, see? Told you, told you. So now that we're almost there, let's have a big round of applause for our lovely driver, yeah. Sasha. Yay. All that love, yeah. great driving. I'd also like to thank you all for being wunderbar. While you're driving past here, do take a little look and you see those three figures they are having a weeing competition uh, on the left-hand uh, side. Uh, that's it. Really? That's a tradition in Miltonburg. I'm sure not only here, but the boys used to stand on a flight of steps and have a competition. And then when the promenade was finished, the local artist, he donated the, back, uh, the Miltonburg weirs. Weirs, yeah. Thank you for listening to 
me for bearing with me. Lots more fun in Germany and the rest of Europe, and of course, a safe journey home. Now, I have been practicing a little goodbye song for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> up till now, only my husband has been my audience. I don't think he's too impressed, but anyhow, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, he takes refuge in the sh shed in the garden. I wonder why. No, just joking. So here goes. I'll do.